is anybody or should anybody really be surprised? Team, keep it clean. What's going on? I hope y'all are doing real good today. Um, now, there had been a little bit of uproar in the airwaves about this article that Jameson Hensley wrote and, and an excerpt from that article that talked about how it's expected that Lamar Jackson, when his deal does come, whenever that day happens, I personally don't anticipate it to be this year, but we'll see. Uh, but when that deal does happen, that he would be expected to get over 40 mil per year. And I was thinking, uh, okay, yeah, that, who, who thought it would be any different? But let, let's read the part of the article and then we'll break it down. It says, those in league circles expect Jackson's payout to exceed $40 million per season, which would make him among the three highest paid quarterbacks. It'll be interesting to see if Jackson can surpass Josh Allen's deal, which is 43 mil per season, to rank second behind me, Mahomes, which is 45 mil per season. The other issue is whether Jackson's deal will be a shorter term extension like Dak Prescott's, which is four years, or a longer term extension like Josh Allen's, which is six years. So I feel like that's that would be a bigger, not even necessarily a bigger question, but a bigger concern of the, the, the length of the deal rather than the average per year. Because I, I, what, shouldn't this have been a given? I feel like this should have been, this should have been a given to like everybody that... Jackson was going to get at least 40 mil per year. Probably more, maybe 41, maybe 42, maybe 43. But he was definitely going to get more than 40 mil per year. I'll, I'm shocked that anybody may have thought that he may receive less. Like, <laughs> no, <that's, laughs> no. NFL stands for not for long. So when players uh, try to maximize their earnings, try to maximize uh, their contracts, I got no problem with that at all. At all. And I, I know so many Ravens fans have been like, oh, we hope Lamar takes a cheap, a team-friendly deal. We hope Lamar takes less on the deal so the Ravens can really build around them. Well, besides this year, because granted this year, Minus how they handled the Orlando Brown Jr. situation. Because I felt like that could have been handled a, a lot better. As far as, okay, if you're going to trade him, let's really get an adequate replacement. Like, let's, let's, really, let's, get, let's get quality over quantity. But this year was probably the best Ravens roster that they've had ever since Lamar's been here. This has probably been the best one and it all went to shambles because of injury. All of it. But for Lamar Jackson, for him to take less on a deal now, if he takes less on, this is one of the reasons why I would not agree with him taking less on a deal. If he takes less on a deal now, he's going to be taking less on deals forever. He's going to be taking less on contracts forever. If you... When, when it's your time, it's your time to get paid. It's your time to get your bread. And you take less, they're going to be like, oh, okay, next time he'll take less too. Oh, and the next time, yeah, he'll take less too. So no, you, you can't take less. You cannot take less. And just because whenever he does, again, I don't think it's going to be this season, but hey, things could change, but we'll see. But for when that time comes, when Lamar Jackson gets his bread, Gets his long-term contract. It will not eliminate the team from building around him. It'll change some stuff, but it does not mean, it will not mean, oh, man. Well, since we paid Lamar Jackson, we can't do anything now. We, we can't sign anybody. We can't build a roster. We can't build a squad. We just can't do it. Did you not? see the Chiefs and the team that they assembled and they got Tyreek Hill is not on no rookie contract Travis Kelsey is not on no rookie contract Joe Thune is not on no rookie contract they even tried to get Trent Williams just because Lamar Jackson gets paid will not mean that the team can't do anything around him the salary cap will continue to increase there will be new tv deals nfl again they're gonna get more money and salary cap is gonna go higher 
So again, while when he does get his deal, it will change some things, but it will not stop the show. And now, and with, with Patrick Mahomes, his his cap incre- his cap is getting ready to increase by a fat amount. But still, even when if when you sign him to an extension, especially in that first year when you sign him to an extension, because the earlier, the lower that cap hit is. So you'll still have plenty of opportunities to do your thing. Look at Josh Allen with the Bills. They, I would say they certainly had a nice squad. <laughs> like, man. It, so it, it's, it doesn't... Look at Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. Like, it, it does not stop the show just because your quarterback gets paid. Now, there's going to, of course, be the argument over what is Lamar Jackson worth? What is he worth to these Baltimore Ravens? Is he even worth 40 mil per season? I saw somebody in the comment section say, oh, man, Lamar Jackson, he, he, he won top three money, and he's not even a top 12 quarterback. I was like, oh, yuck. What? What? This dude, his value to this team alone is priceless. It is priceless. And... I don't care if you like Lamar, if you don't like Lamar, let the numbers speak for themselves. Because so many people, again, they, they still they keep on saying, oh, man, Lamar Jackson keeps regressing. He regressed this year. Oh, man, he took such a step back. Why would you pay that guy? Some people even been saying Ravens need to move on. I'm like, what? Did you not see what the Ravens were without one Lamar Jackson? Did some of y'all forget? Because sometimes it seems like, it seems like a lot of people forget. And I know recency bias is a real thing. And it can impact people like crazy because you're seeing Patrick Mahomes, you're seeing Joe Burrow, you're seeing Matt Stafford, you're seeing Jimmy Garoppolo. <laughs> <laughs> but you're seeing all these other quarterbacks And you, you saw a lot more Throughout the end of the regular season And Lamar Jackson wasn't playing You see the playoffs And you see them playing in the postseason But Lamar Jackson hasn't been playing So a lot of people forget Forgot about Lamar Jackson It's like, oh Not me though And I know a lot of y'all didn't forget either And Ravens fans They, they certainly they, they can't forget about Lamar Jackson Because you saw what happened when he wasn't in. You saw what happened in all these close games when he wasn't in. When he wasn't in, then the Ravens didn't win. Simple as that. When you want to assess how much Lamar Jackson is worth to the Baltimore Ravens, just use that phrase. When Lamar isn't in, Ravens don't win. Simple as that. So whenever you're thinking, oh, man, should the Ravens pay Lamar Jackson? Oh, is he worth it? Oh, should the Ravens sign him to a long-term deal? If Lamar's not in, the Ravens do not win. Simple as that. And again, just got to give another reminder. So many people, when it came to g when it came to Wink, when it came to Harbaugh, so many people like, oh, man. How, how could some of y'all want those guys gone? How could you want Hobbs gone? How could you want Wink gone? How could you want Giro gone for people who wanted them gone? And they say, oh, but you're not accounting for the injuries. But then a lot of those same people would be like, oh, Lamar Jackson, he regressed. Oh, Lamar Jackson took a step back. Oh, Lamar Jackson, he was terrible this year. But you're not accounting for the injuries. You see how that works? You see how it works? And again, like I always say, is Lamar Jackson without fault? No, of course not. No, of course not. But Lamar Jackson, he's a winner. Straight up, simple as that. He is a winner. He's a winner. And the Ravens without him, (laughs) they were not winners. They weren't. That guy is obviously worth all of it. All of it. All of it. So we need not be surprised that 40 mil, that, that, that his contract, whenever it happens, I'm thinking maybe 2023. We'll see. Because this thing could go on, like we've talked about. He's on the fifth-year option right now. And Eric DaCosta, the way he worded, oh, yeah, 
We're comfortable with that cap hit. Yeah, we're fine with that. You know you want to get that cap hit down, EDC. I know you do. You know you do. We all know you do. But I know you got to get up there and be like, oh, we're comfortable. Because if he says that, that's like, okay, let, no, no, no pressure, Lamar. Go do your thing. Hey, we waiting on you. Because again, with a lot of his wording in the press conference, EDC, he pushed it to Lamar. He pushed everything to Lamar. So, hey, we're going at Lamar's pace. Oh, yeah, oh, that, 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 the cap hit, the 23 mil cap hit. Yeah, we can work with that. We're fine with that. We're going at Lamar's pace. I'm talking to him. This is a, this is a different situation than I've ever dealt with before. Because I'm not dealing with an agent. I'm dealing with the player. I'm talking directly to him. We've had like five, six conversations. So the, the wording was very, very important to pay attention to. Because it lets you know how the Ravens are going to proceed. Or at least the perception, the public perception they want to put out there. And basically that is, again, Lamar, it's all on you. We waiting on you. So, again, I do think that Lamar, I don't think that he's going to resign. I think he's going to wait this thing out and see what the Ravens do. See how the Ravens do moving forward. See what the Ravens do moving forward. See how they handle the roster, how they handle the draft, how they handle just the salary cap, how they handle players that they have already, how they handle players that they're going to get, how they handle the offense, the schemes, just everything. I think he's just waiting it out. And he is, again, in no rush because he has leverage. He has a lot of leverage. Because even, again, worst case scenario, well, worst case scenario, they don't come to a deal this year. He plays out the fifth year option. All right. He just got 23 mil in his bank. So if we know the Raven, he, we know he ain't about to become no un unrestricted free agent. We know that's just not happening at all. But worst case scenario, Ravens want to franchise tag him. Ooh, ooh that was a lot of money. That, that cap would be eaten alive if you put that franchise tag on Lamar. Because that's guaranteed money. That's guaranteed. You have to eat that cap. You can't get creative with the franchise. No. The franchise tag is all of it. All of it. So we'll see what happens. Should be fun. But again, this whole over 40 mil Lamar is supposed to be getting. It is no shocker. It is no surprise to me. It is no shocker. It should be no surprise to you. I think all of us, we pretty much knew that this was or is what will be going down Whenever that time comes. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. We out.